Welcome to South Central Regional Library's Safe Inside Your Walls programming, supported by Safe at Home Manitoba. Hey everybody, welcome to another Safe at Home Manitoba production. My name is Sherry and I'm the branch administrator here in Miami. Today I'm going to teach you a super easy, super yummy appetizer with only two main ingredients. Um, we have a few options to add a few ingredients, but mainly just two ingredients. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need is just regular white but button mushrooms. And the second thing we're going to need is burzan cheese. Burzan used to be kind of hard to find, uh, but lately it's easy to find. I actually bought this at June's here in Miami. So if you live in one of the bigger uh, places with a branch, it should be easy to find. Um, if you have the darker, I think they're called cremini mushrooms, those would work too. I just thought these ones looked really nice this time, so I'm using plain white. So the first thing we're going to do is prep our mushrooms. Um, mine look pretty good. Sometimes they have little bits of yucky on them that you don't want on there. I've read different articles saying do wash the mushrooms, don't wash the mushrooms. It's your personal preference. Um, so to prep them, all we're going to do is just snap off that stem. If you do it right, it should just come off like that. And uh, we don't actually need these stems, but don't pitch them. You can use them for another use. Um, saute them up and put them in eggs or an omelet or something like that is really good. So that's the first step to prepping. I'm going to do as many mushrooms as I want in my finished product. The second thing we're going to want to get is our cooking container ready. Um, I'm using this one because I want to serve them just directly from stove to table. Um, you could use any kind of cooking container. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, so I'm just going to prepare it by putting a little bit of butter along the bottom. And then you have a choice. You can um, paint the outside of the mushrooms with a little bit of butter if you want. You don't actually have to. I forgot a couple of times and I didn't notice a difference in the taste. The only thing I noticed a difference in is sometimes when the mushrooms cook, if you haven't put um, butter on the outside, they can get like a little bit of a leathery look. Um, but they taste exactly the same. So your choice if you want the extra calories, you can butter the mushrooms. I'm just going to do some both ways so you can see. And I'll line them up in my little um, cooking container. And we're going to be baking them, so your container should be oven safe. Um, if you had really big mushrooms, you might even want to give them a pre-sauté um, in melted butter, but not necessary if they're small like this. Alright, so now that I've got them in my container, I'm going to show you just the basic, basic recipe. So once your mushrooms are ready and in your little container, you'll take your burzan. Um, I don't know if you'll find it easier to use a spoon or a knife. I'm just going to use a knife this time. And just fill that little cavity with plain burzan cheese. It is so good. Um, and Borzan does come in a, di a few different flavors. I think cranberry and then also fine herbs. So I'm using the herbs one. I'm just going to do two plain and then I'll do um, two with each of the variations. Um, yeah, so that's how it looks. I don't know if you can see, it's super, super easy. Um, so for the second variation, we can cook them all at the same time. So the second variation, I'm gonna add some pre-cooked bacon. So I'll start off exactly the same, fill, fill the little cup with my burzan cheese. to bake I'm actually just going to take a little piece of bacon and tuck it in like that uh, so I'll, I'll do two like that and then the last step that's really nice uh, 
is you could try adding some seafood. So I have a shrimp ring shrimp, so that's what I'm gonna use today. You could use crab, real crab, fake crab, lobster bits, whatever you want. Um, these are a little big, so I think I'm gonna slice them first. Okay, so for the shrimp ones, I'm gonna take my shrimp. They're really nice and big, so I'm just gonna cut them into smaller pieces. You might need to chop so you can um, fit them in the little mushroom cap cup. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm actually gonna take my little piece of shrimp and put it in the mushroom first, and then I'll top it off with my orzan. And I think if you ordered this in a restaurant, it would be called Mushrooms Neptune if it's got the seafood in it. So I'm gonna make two like that. Um, if I had green onion or something, you might wanna, you're not gonna be able to tell which one has shrimp in it. So either remember where you put them, or if you had green onion or something, you could maybe put that on the plain one. Um, to help tell the difference. All right, so that's my gorzan mushrooms, three ways. So I've got plain, shrimp stuffed, and bacon. Uh, now all I have to do is pop it in a 350 degree oven until the mushrooms start letting go a little bit of their liquid. So that usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a close up of the mushrooms just before we put them in the oven. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're just gonna take a look and see how they are, if they need a little more time. So I'm gonna say a little more time. See the cheese isn't melted or bubbling and there's no liquid in the bottom of the container. Okay, it's been about five more minutes. We're just gonna take another peek and see how they're going. We're gonna pull them out. Oh, well, I would say those are looking done. If you uh, can see at the bottom of the container there's a little bit of liquid so I'm just gonna pull them all right and now we're ready to serve you could serve it just directly in this container if you wanted um, you could put it on a fancy plate like this with a few toast points it would be really really nice another option you've got this nice little three container one so yeah, one of these is plain, one has shrimp and one has bacon. Um, it'd be really cute if you put a little green onion on the plain one. A nice option would be as a really cute and tasty side to a steak dinner. Steak and mushrooms are awesome together. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoy and may suggest that you try it soon. Stay safe within your walls, Manitoba. Thank you for joining us for this Safe at Home Manitoba production. Stay safe inside your walls.